me and my bro sliding. He in that Hellcat and I'm in that Demon. Supercharged up V8. And here are the V speeds you need to know about in your airplane. Let go! Boom! Understanding the V speeds of your aircraft can help you tremendously in flight. Not only understanding the V speeds and what each of the nomenclature actually means, but also the speeds that they identify on your particular aircraft, because the speed itself is going to vary from aircraft to aircraft. You definitely want to note your pilot operating handbook for that, but also too, knowing when to use them and what you will actually be doing in the aircraft in each of these scenarios. That's the most important thing. So you want to make it a point not to just memorize what they are so you understand the nomenclature and the definitions. You want to not only know the speeds as they pertain to your particular aircraft, you want to know when and why you would use each of these speeds. Because once you know the when and the why, you can pretty much solve for anything in the air and you always make sure you have the right indicated speed on your airspeed indicator and it's giving you the velocity that you need to run that thing let go boom supercharged up v8 turn off the lights a one time and they're usually about eight of the big ones that you definitely want to make sure you lock down not only memory wise and know exactly what they mean understand whether identify them on your airspeed indicator and then when and what situations you would actually use them let's run that Thing from the top to the bottom, A one time. First one on the list, VSO. The VSO is simply your stall speed in the landing configuration. It's the bottom of the white arc on your airspeed indicator. So you, the easy way to remember this, VSO, hmm, stuff out. I wanna make sure my stuff is out if I'm getting ready to land. You wanna make sure those flaps are all the way out, everything is out and you're good to go. So that's how you can remember that VSO, stuff out, stalling speed in the landing configuration. Bottom of the white arc, run it. Hey, next up on the list is VS1, stalling speed in the clean configuration. So if VSO means stuff out, then VS1, you kind of remember stuff in, clean, everything is cleaned up. What is the stalling speed of that? It's gonna be at the bottom of the green arc. So those two, you can kind of put them together, lump them together, VSO, stuff out, VS1, stuff in, clean configuration, stalling speed. Those are the two stalling speeds that you definitely want to lock down and have to memorization there. Let go, boom! So sometimes putting things into groups of two or three can help you remember things a little easier. So for those first two, it's easy to remember if you couple them together. VSO, stuff out, stalling speed, of course, in the landing configuration, bottom of the white arc. VS1, stuff in, clean configuration, bottom of the green arc. Got them together, kind of can remember that. Stuff out, stuff in. Boom, you're good to go. The next two, you can couple those as well. VX and VY. Let's run that thing. With VX, you're talking about your best angle of climb. One reason that, uh, that you can kind of use, a trick that you can use to kind of remember that, think about the letter X. You X'd up up in that thing. That's a lot of angles on that X. More angles on that than it is on the Y. It has the most angles, so that is gonna be utilized as your best angle of climb. VX is just your maximum amount of altitude per giving distance. Really great to use VX, particularly if you're trying to clear an obstacle on takeoff. Always punch in that VX and always shoot for that VX on takeoff if you're trying to clear an obstacle so you can get the maximum amount of altitude over that obstacle per the distance that you're traveling. That's how you can easily remember V, you X'd up up in that thing. Hey, Since we're gonna couple these together, VY would be easy to remember if you know what X is because VY is the best rate of climb. So it's the most altitude that you can achieve over a given time. So VX, the most altitude you can achieve over a given distance. VY, the most altitude you can achieve over a given time. So climbing at that nice steady rate can give you that climb that you're looking for on a nice normal type of takeoff. VY that thing, couple it together with VX, that way you got those two together and you kind of can understand the difference between those just like you did with VSO and VS1. Next up is VFE, your flaps extended speed. And this one here is a lot easier to remember because you use it quite frequently, particularly every landing that you do. Every time you land an aircraft, there's a certain point throughout your landing checklist and you getting ready to do things that you got to run through that you getting ready to put in that first notch of flaps. But you shouldn't even be thinking about touching the flaps until what? Until you're in the white arc. And that top of that white arc is, of course, 
your flaps extended speed, getting you getting into that era before you even think about touching those flaps and can extend those flaps out. So a nice easy way to remember that, just think about landing the aircraft, flaps extended speed, where does the aircraft need to be and at what speed do what you need to be at based on your aircraft before you start extending those flaps. And boom! The next two on the list, we can get back to coupling them together again. That first one we want to run down, of course, is VNO. And that VNO is just your safe structural cruise speed. You're going to use this one a lot, particularly if you got that thing just sliding in smooth air. When you got that thing sliding in smooth air, you really want to be at that VNO, that nice structural cruise speed, so you can just keep that thing floating and going nice and clean. It's where the green arc on your airspeed indicator meets the yellow arc. So pay attention to where that green arc meets the yellow arc, and you can slide there nicely and comfortably and really push the limits for that VNO in nice, smooth, clean air, and it feels good to swing and bang that thing. Hey, and the reason why you can couple these together, because you got that VNO with that nice structural cruise speed, and it's nice and safe particularly in that smooth air where that green arc meets the yellow arc but then you can follow that up and remember the course vne which is your never exceed speed that's going to be that red marking on your airspeed indicator where you of course never want to exceed that speed in the aircraft for safety reasons let go boom in the last v speed in the big v8 the great you want to remember of course is v8 which stands for maneuvering speed the unique thing about the maneuvering speed it's not indicated on your airspeed indicator so there won't be an indication there you may have a placard inside of your aircraft telling you what the maneuvering speed is but the maneuvering speed actually will vary based on the load of the aircraft and all the maneuvering speed is is the speed that you should be going then once you get to that speed you can actually have full deflection of all the controls going back and forth doing whatever you want to do and you're still would be in a good place you can do all the maneuvering you want to do without damaging the aircraft or it can even reach a stall before it allows itself to damage the aircraft so it's a nice protection mechanism on your aircraft but you have to know what that speed is and you also have to know how it varies based on your load and your load of course is going to vary based on the quality of different things passengers inside of course the aircraft also to of course the fuel the, the maneuvering speed that you may have when you take off and have a full tank of gas may be different after you've been flying around for a while so you may have to recalculate that maneuvering speed depending on what your flight plan is hey boom and these are the big v8 the great the v speeds for you to remember an easy way to remember these and you want to learn as much as you can on the ground by reviewing the videos that are on this channel for free and one way to remember your v speeds is to do something like chair flying when you're chair flying just look at your airspeed indicator and when you look at your airspeed indicator reference your poh and understand exactly what is the vxe of your aircraft and then pretend like you're just putting down those flaps when you get into VXE. That way you're not only understanding what VXE means, you're understanding exactly what the exact airspeed is on your airspeed indicator, and then you understand what you would do when you're in that situation, like why, how would you fly the airplane, what scenario would you be in. Do this for all eight of those V speeds. And you can learn this easily on the ground by just watching this video over and over and over again and chair flying until you get it. And then once you got that thing on lock, once you get into the air, you continue to reference this to memory. As much as you can learn on the ground, the better it's going to be for you in the sky. Hey! Don't forget to like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and subscribe to this channel. I am Donovan Batiste. This is Leadership Mindset, a place where you can come for free and fun videos about everything that you need to know for you to become a pilot. Because I want you to feel what pilots all over the world feel when we swinging and banging that thing. Hey, love you one time.